Hey guys, it's Snowbiter, and I've got another Battlefield 3 video here for you guys. And in this video, I wanted to try out a new series that I've been thinking about doing for a little while now. And I'm going to call it the Weapon Feature. And essentially, the idea behind it is that I just focus on one specific weapon over the course of a video and talk about a few different setups that I've found that seem to work well with the with the weapon in different setups. And talk a little bit about uh, you know the best way to use the weapon. And so, uh, let me know what you guys think about this series idea. I'm not, I'm not sure if I, if I do want to do more videos, uh, you know, for this series. Uh, so it depends a little bit on what you guys think of it. I, but I did want to do one of these at least for the A94 because this is a weapon that I've been trying to figure out for a while now. I, you know, initially when the game first came out, I really thought this weapon was pretty bad, especially compared to you know something like the M16 or the M416 that is a pretty good all-around gun. The AN-94 just seemed like it couldn't compare to those. And, uh, you know, I, I tried to try to figure out a good setup to use with it. And uh, right before the patch actually came out, I, I thought I'd figured out a pretty good setup that worked well with this weapon. But then obviously the patch changed around the way attachments worked. And so I had to sort of figure out a new setup that worked well with this weapon. And so I've been using a lot of it. And I've come up with a couple of different setups that I think work well in different situations. And so the first setup that you're going to see gameplay of, and I've got gameplay using three different setups in this video, and I'll, I'll talk about each as, uh, as, the, as the gameplay goes through. But the first, uh, the first setup that I want to talk about is in what I think is probably the best all-around setup to use with this weapon. And it sort of works in, in most situations, or it's going to work in the, the majority of situations, as compared to the other setups at least. And that's uh, the setup that you're seeing me use here. It's the Cobra Red Dot Sight, the Underslung Rail, and Flash Suppressor. And the reason I'm not using the foregrip is because, one, I'm already using the Flash Suppressor, so uh, that's already going to reduce some of the recoil of this gun for me anyways. And I don't really think the recoil is the, the main, or the hardest thing to overcome in the, with, when you're using this weapon. And so the, and the other uh, reason I'm using the underslung rail as opposed to the foregrip is because the foregrip does reduce your aimed accuracy slightly. And I think, you know, one of the strong points of the AN-94 is its accuracy. And I don't, I don't think it's worthwhile to, to use an attachment so that even if you are reducing recoil a little more, uh, which I don't find really necessary, you're, you're also reducing your accuracy. So I think the underslung rail is just a better, uh, better attachment to use in that second attachment slot. And the flash suppressor I'm just using because it reduces recoil, and it, and it does reduce your hipfire accuracy slightly, but it's it's not nearly as much as the heavy barrel does. And, you know, the AN-94 is already a pretty solid weapon at long range just because it is an accurate gun and it is a burst fire weapon, so it's it's pretty good at long ranges, as you'll, as you'll see later in this video. And uh, so this is, in my opinion, the best all-around setup to use. You know, I, I think... Uh, it does take a bit just to get used to the recoil of this weapon. I find that it does have a lot of a back and forth or horizontal recoil. And the flash suppressor does do a little bit to help diminish that, which definitely helps for me because, as you'll, you'll see later in one of the other setups, the horizontal recoil definitely messes me up sometimes. So that's just something to be, to be careful of when you're using this weapon. And I think in general you're going to have the most success with the AN-94 if you play a little more cautiously than you might with some of the other assault rifles in the game. Just because, you know, if you keep your distance, and I think you'll kind of see over the course of this gameplay that generally speaking that's what I, I do for the most part. I try to keep my distance from the enemies. And uh, in doing that, uh, you know, I can really pick people off pretty effectively. Uh, you know, as long as I'm, I'm prepared. It's tough to play really aggressively, I think, with this weapon. Uh, because... It does have a really fast fire rate, so it can be easy to, if you if you miss a few shots, to kind of just spray, get a little bit spray happy with this weapon. And so, you know, I, I think it, this setup allows you to be the most effective at medium ranges, but it's still going to be tough to to take out a, an enemy that's you know using a, a really good medium range weapon like something like something like the M16 or the M416. Uh, so, you know, but I, I do think that this setup that you know, you're seeing gameplay of here allows you to be most effective with the N94 at medium ranges. The second setup that I want to talk about in this video plays to the fact that the N94 actually has really good hip fire. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, it has a really fast fire rate, 
And uh, I think actually in burst mode, it has the fastest fire rate of any of the weapons in the game. So it, uh, if you can get off a couple of quick bursts at somebody at, at close ranges, uh, or in, uh, when you're hip firing, you can really take guys out pretty quickly. And I didn't fully test this out. I, I didn't really see what kind of range you could actually get when you're using a hip fire. But the setup you're used, seeing me use here is uh, I'm using the the foregrip, I believe, and the laser sight, and uh, the red dot sight, obviously. And what I was trying to do here was I was trying to maximize my ability to do really well at really close ranges. And I think your ability to do well with this setup is somewhat dependent on what map you're playing. Just because, uh, you know, since you're replacing the flash suppressor with the laser sight, you're not going to get the, the reduction in recoil like you would with the flash suppressor. And even though I'm using the foregrip, you can still kind of notice how, or you can still kind of tell from the gameplay that there's more horizontal recoil and there are definitely a couple of moments I think in this gameplay where you, you can really see that my aim suffers because of the, the, the fact that it's a little harder to control the horizontal recoil without the flash suppressor equipped. So you are kind of trading your ability to do sort of well consistently at medium ranges for that added bonus at close ranges. And because of that, I think Grand Bazaar is probably the best map to use this setup on just because there are you know, so many alleys and sort of small rooms where it's going to be pretty helpful to have that added bonus at close ranges. And, you know, to a certain extent, I think Operation Metro and Send Crossing would also be good maps to use this setup on. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's you know, unless you're going to be playing kind of, you know, you're going to be making sure that you're sticking to areas where you're only going to be getting into close quarters encounters, it's going to be harder to have success with in some of the more wide open maps just because uh, this setup is definitely geared towards close ranges. The final setup that I wanted to talk about in this video is really taking advantage of the fact that the A94 is also a really good you know, sniping assault rifle because mainly because it's just a burst assault rifle and so that, you know, that mean, makes it really effective at long ranges. And so the setup that you're going to see in the, this final portion of gameplay, or for the final section of this video, is uh, going to be the Cobra's Red Dot Sight again with the bipod and the heavy barrel. And so, I mean, right off the bat you can kind of uh, see how this is geared towards, towards long ranges, but the bipod is, uh, it's kind of actually an, an odd attachment, I think. It's not something that I would ever have really considered to use on an assault rifle before the patch. But it does r increase your accuracy at, at long ranges, and you know. So obviously, if I'm going to be trying to maximize my ability to do well at longer distances, the bipod is probably going to be the best attachment to use in that second slot. And and then the heavy barrel is also uh, similarly the best attachment I think to use if you're going for long range capability, because it increases the damage that you're able to do at longer ranges. And it, I think it also increases your aimed accuracy. And so, essentially, what I'm what I'm doing with this setup is I'm putting or I'm making the A94 turning it into more of a, a sniping assault rifle. And so, I mean, obviously, this this setup also does have its limitations because you know, obviously, you can't really unless you're going to camp in some location on some of those smaller maps. Uh, the, you're not going to be in situations all the time where you know it's it's long distance encounters. So. I think this setup is probably best to use on the larger maps, and especially if you're, you know, playing something like Defense on Rush, which is the gameplay that you're seeing here. Uh, I'm playing Defense on Wake Island Rush, and uh, you know, I think those situations are probably the best ones to use this setup in, just because there's fewer buildings that you have to, you know, maybe weave your way in and out of, and it's a lot more open terrain where uh, most of the encounters are going to be sort of across longer distances or it's easier to maneuver your way into a position where you know you're going to be in more long distance encounters and the fact that I have both the heavy or the both the heavy barrel and the bipod equipped as I said earlier means my accuracy is going to be really good and if my aim is on target the majority of my bullets are going to uh, hit where I'm aiming and so it definitely makes it so that at long ranges I can definitely I can really be effective at, at taking guys out this setup does hinder your ability somewhat to do well at close to medium ranges uh, just because the heavy barrel does reduce your hip fire accuracy pretty significantly and you know obviously since I'm using the bipod instead of the foregrip and uh, you know the heavy barrel instead of the flash suppressor I'm not going to be getting any recoil reduction so 
it, it does, um, you know, at close to medium ranges, it is going to be a little bit harder to do well. But, I mean, as you can see from this gameplay, it maximizes the A94's, uh, you know, already pretty good long range capabilities. And so uh, this setup is definitely, I think, probably one of the better you know, medium to long range setups that I've used. And uh, it's, it's definitely worth trying out. So anyways, that's just about all I wanted to talk about regarding the setups. And, uh, you know, as I've, I've kind of mentioned already, the A94 is definitely a weapon that you're going to have to play a little more cautiously with than you might with some of the other assault rifles, I think. But these are a few setups that I've found that seem to work pretty well with the A94 in a, a couple of different situations. So, uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know what you think about this series and whether or not you want to see me do uh, more with it and with some of the other weapons in the game. So, uh, let me know about that, and otherwise, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.